2022 marks the beginning of season 3 of the vlog after nearly 200 episodes in the first two seasons. After a long awaited year we are finally able to get up in the sky with Powderbird Heli skiing and enjoy a near perfect day in the Wasatch Mountains. Ugh. Morning Squad second episode of season 3 here. And it's going to be a big one. I've been looking forward to this day really since last year when, if you guys remember, we didn't get a chance to fly in the helicopter because of the weather. And so everything basically got postponed until the next year because there wasn't anything else open. We're going to be heading out to Powderbird Heli Skiing right outside of Snowbird. I don't want to be late at all, so I'm going to start to get a move on here. I slept in Walmart last night, so I'm going to... Uh, get out of here and then head up to Little Cottonwood Kids. Powder bird, beautiful morning. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Alright, Lucas, you are... What does it say? You are 176. Yeah, and you are all set, so okay. thank you so much. Okay, and cool. Looks like you guys have your waivers signed and everything. Okay. So, right yeah, on. dig in. Okay. Let us know if you guys need anything. Cool, thank you. Yeah, of course. Oh. Alright, just a quick morning check-in. Uh, they had to take my weight. I was like 176. So I'm sure they'll be doing that for everyone in the bird, but I gotta get all my gear out. I haven't taken my boots out from yesterday, so everything's gonna be quite, quite wet still. So I gotta get this going. start today with a nice breakfast and made some potatoes, eggs, almost everything we would make in the van ourselves. So I haven't ate this morning so I was banking on this. This is a, a big move and I think they also will get lunch at the end of the day. But like I've said before, it's going to be a beautiful day, blue sky. Um, and it's one of my favorite parts of the day with the alpine glow at the top of the mountain. So all in all, just beautiful. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Look at that food. Mm. Most people like to put this on at the beginning of the day and leave it on to get in and out of the helicopter. But if you want, if, it, if it's too uncomfortable for you and it pushes you forward too much, just let your guide know and your guide will be fine taking it on and off and put it in the basket. And then you just have to put it on at the top of each run. At the top of the run, we're going to do what's called arming the airbag system. And this little deal here, you don't want to pull on this, I'll tell you why in a second, but you just expose it. So at the top of the run, we help each other and say, hey, unzip your airbag. Now it's armed, okay? What happens is, if you're skiing along and you get caught in an avalanche, you can pull this trigger and a big airbag comes out over the back of your head. And the theory is, it gives you a much better chance of ending up on top of the snow. But when you're skiing, if you happen to feel your skis getting sucked down the hill against your will or your snowboard, what you really want to do, first thing is, drop your poles and just try to ski off of it, to the left or to the right. Just try to ski off of it. Sometimes you can, okay? If you can't, you'll know pretty quick that you're getting sucked down hill a little bit and you're like, okay, I'm not going to be able to ski out of this pull the airbag and it's really, really revolutionized the avalanche safety world quite a bit. A lot, a lot of people end up on top of the snow instead of underneath the snow. Doesn't guarantee it, but it gives you a much better chance. Just got done with the, uh, the little safety briefing where they kind of tell you what's in the pack, all the things like that. So we just got our avalanche beacons. In case you do get buried, this is a way to kind of locate people. So just turned it on, it's on transmit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Unfortunately, I can't bring the big camera. This won't fit in the uh, avalanche bag. So everything from here on out is going to be on the GoPro. And we are going to head out and do the helicopter briefing and then start to start to get up in the air. So got everything kind of loaded up, I think. Um, so let's go. attention here what I'm gonna do is kind of talk about strapping our skis and moving to the helicopter and also what I'm gonna talk about is how we're gonna and if you could just uh, turn that off for right now and, and yeah let's just they basically broke us up into three different groups I believe we're all going to be skiing together, but just in terms of the helicopter, only four people can fit in the helicopter with a guide and the pilot. So I am group three. So the first group just went out and then they're basically going to drop them off and pick up the next group. So we will be going out here momentarily and we kind of have a designated guide. I believe his name is Logan and that's really the day. I think we can expect six to seven runs, but other than that, I'm stoked. The helicopter is probably going to be even sicker than the actual skiing itself. So just really excited. and. Uh, Ah, not much more to say. I'll do a right boundary, okay? Because a right boundary works really well because we're not going fall line off in that direction. Ultimately, we're sweeping back to this subridge down here. So I'll go ahead and put a far right out there. That'll be the right boundary. Stay left of that. 
You can also ski just to the right of these tracks. That'll leave us a big patch out there. And then you'll see all these tracks kind of migrate back and I'll be down there in a big spot down there, okay? Okay, first gear just left of Logan's track, please. Copy. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. oh my God, it's just so crispy. First drop. Oh. Oh yeah. That'll work. That was good skiing. Yeah. Yeah. Really creamy. Totally. It's awesome. This time of year you can ski pow on the south aspects. It's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. in the books it was pretty mellow up at the top but uh snow was really good nice little warm-up run and then we kind of got a little bit more trees as we came down it's kind of like three phases to get down but first one's done now we're at the pickup point and we are waiting for the heli to come back pick us up and bring us to the next spot so a uh, truly beautiful day out here bluebird day and i can hear the helicopter Thanks, man. See you down there. <clears throat> a little bit watch little look at this guys just like untracked I mean That's nice.
do our third run. Every run has been at a different zone, which has been pretty sick. And snow is just great. There's like a a nice layer on the bottom with probably three or four inches on the top and just untracked cream it feels like. So the JJs, like always, are just doing really well. Okay guys, so we're gonna start trending a little right now. Trending right. You just follow me and take your time. Perfect 360 run. Look at these trees. Sketch trees.
Trevor Logan's working through the, the little aspens there. So again, when you get in that stuff, just slow down. Just ski in control for me, please, okay? And next year is good to go. Just how beautiful it is where we are. I don't know obviously where we are at, but we dropped this off um, as the day's kind of winding down more into the sun because we were kind of up in the shade a little bit more. But now we're just like in this pure empty bowl. I mean, just look at how beautiful all this is. And I'm just standing on top of it right now. So we've been like the lead group. So we've been getting picked up and dropped off first, and then we kind of wait for the next group to come in behind us. I mean, just look at this. It's like fake. and mellow over the tree oh that was sick Yo! <laughs> that was dope oh that was beautiful Left. Oh, beautiful. Just soak it all in. Oh, yeah. That was dope. Oh, my look. Hey. Uh oh. Oh, we're stuck. stuck. What's happening? Oh, I know. Hold up, Joe. We're in trouble. All right, just. <laughs> no one's hurt. <clears throat>
Well, squad, the day is over. We ended up doing six runs, which was what we expected to do. Um, I would say compared to the stuff in Alaska, it wasn't as intense or big, it felt like. Um, we're almost still just like skiing the same terrain that you would find at Snowbird or something like that, but it was still really cool to be up in the helicopter and all that sort of good stuff. So we'll yeah, check out what they got for lunch. We literally have steak with asparagus and a salad and a lot more stuff. But steak? I mean, come on. This is well needed after a day like today. Huge thank you to the guides. Uh, Logan and Pat and Cam, all those guys um, who just made sure everyone was safe. It's not an easy job um, with all those people and running multiple flights, things like that, but also big ups just to the whole Powder Bird operation. I think we are going to have one more heli day this year. I'm not sure if it's going to be in February or March, but we will be back, so it's a good sort of opener. Uh, to the to the year then hopefully when we come back we'll be able to do a little bit more um, more advanced terrain and just stuff that has more pitch to it but all in all it's a sick day We have just how long it can take to get out of Little Cottonwood Canyon at four o'clock on a Sunday. So thank you guys for watching the second episode of season three, and I will see all of you guys in the next episode, hopefully from Jackson Hole. Peace out.